Ceremonials then over, and the memories will carry on for a long, long time. A hundred years have passed, and the hostilities now between the red shirts and the white shirts are very, very different from those of 1914-18. Let's enjoy the game and enjoy our freedom. Well, Hungerford have made a bright start here, and they're on the front foot looking for that ball into the box. Set up for the shot, and it's gone well wide. Chance of a shot. Good shot into the right-hand corner. Swift move there, well set up by Orsino Danomo, and a cracking finish by Dan Bailey, and there's only four minutes on the clock, and Hungford Town have a 1-0 lead. Chance for two there. Gardner advances, knocks it off. Adebayo rolling. Into surge, good turn. Good ball across. And down goes Weaver. Well read by Campbell and the break is on here. <coughs> Checks back. Whites get back behind the ball. And again, surely a free kick, not given. Huge effort. <laughs> Lots of pulls for a goal from behind the, the goal there, but uh, they are not entirely neutral and our assistant referee was on the spot, but it was a hairy moment for Mark Smith. Wide. Toby plays it on up that line. Good move developing. And a foul given, not a foul given. Well, that's another questionable non-decision from our referee. Torres into Wills. Adebayo rolling. Big, big cross. Header from Martin. Save from Weaver. Fraction better from the men in red. Advantage play. Out it goes wide on the right-hand side for the sports. Adebayo rolling, a great run into the box. Oh, it's gone behind Cox. Ambitious ball by Ransom, and an excellent one, in fact, finds Adebayo rolling on the far side. Wills with a free kick. It's big, keeper comes, doesn't hold it, but they whack it away. 
Cox, who has switched wings, plays it into the edge. Free kick given. So right on the edge of this box. What can Burrow do with this one? It's floated. Keeper pushes it away. Falls kindly, no. Here's Wills. Belts one in. Cox is over this one. Lofts it. Header away, falls to Torres. Round the left he goes. Keeper is down and does well. Oh, nice turn there, edge of the box. Shot goes wide. Quick throw into Walker, edge of the box. Closely policed. <coughs> Out to Dean Cox. Straight in it goes. Oh, and underneath the header is Ryan Hall. Neat move, not quite the finish. <coughs> Oh, debate, a lovely turn. Edge of the box goes out wide. Cox chips it in. It's a white head first. The keeper punches. Headed down and then cracked in by Paul from very, very astute work by Kane Wills there. Just nods it sideways. Kane Wills lights the fuse. Ryan Hall detonates and it's 1-1. <coughs> Ball, but there's a man on the end of it and it's hooked wide by Whittingham into Ryan Hall but he goes backwards with it well backwards to go forwards perhaps Smith's raking ball well met and in he comes and a penalty given oh it was a lovely run by Campbell just met it right a little bit harsh on the defender perhaps the Flailing leg brings down Campbell and the penalty is given. Oh, well, we have controversy here. Well, Ekpiteta is on the wrong end of a red card and that's going to cost Hungerford doubly dear. So Ekpiteta is off. Adebayde has the chance to put the sports ahead. And he does, no mistake, from Yemi Adebayde. And within 10 minutes of the second half, East Bumbara have gone from a rather despairing 0-1 to a potentially match-winning 2-1. Nicked by Torres, <laughs> racing forward. Too long, I think. No, Yemi's got it. Chips it back. Oh, and the header goes into the keeper's arms. Campbell advancing. Only finds a white head. Gets it back again, though. Cox is available, and he uses him. One on one if Coxy wants. Slings it in. Another white head. It falls. Oh, and that one should have put it beyond doubt. Shot from distance, one bounce to the keeper. It's nicked. And out it goes to Cox. A little bit of space, he's now closed down. Edge of the box. It's shot into the keeper's midriff. Cox nicks it. Intercepted. Wills. Wide ball into the area. And he scored the third one. Well, this man is on fire this afternoon. Ryan Hall picks his spot and finds his spot. There's breathing space for the sports. It's Eastbourne Borough 3, Hungerford Town 1. Campbell twists and turns, then hits his shot too high. 
Torres skips past one, plays it out to West. West wanted to play a little more down the line, changes his mind and finds Torres again. Into the edge, and in comes Quills. Oh, and a lovely save in fairness as the angle was closed down for Kane Wills' shot. So, oh, an interesting afternoon at Priory Lane. Not a classic football match, but uh, a lot of cat and mouse involved. Hungerford Town with the gift of an early goal. And then they sat back, very tight, very competent, until half-time, but the ten minutes after half-time were what changed the game around. Borough taking a 2-1 lead. Ryan Hall and Yemi Odebade's penalty. And Hall again wrapped it up for the sports, who overall finished very, very much the dominant side. Hungerford Town battled hard, well organised in the first half, but then uh, they self-destructed after the penalty with uh, the skipper. Marvel at Potato sent off, probably needlessly, and uh, they will go home licking their wounds. It's finished here. Eastbourne Borough 3, Hungerford Town 1. Well, come on, Jamie, I need the secrets of the dressing room here. What did you say at half-time? Uh, didn't say too much, if I'm honest about it. I thought um, it was along the lines of... Uh, I, I, we spoke about starting well. We had a, a terrible start at Chelmsford. We needed to start well here uh, mm -hmm. today. And um, we're a goal down after five minutes. And um, not playing very well. I thought first half, I thought it was the simple things that let us down today, I felt. I think it was our, you know, our final pass, our back pass to the goalkeeper, our our control when we could clear it, our big part of offer, all the ugly things in football that you need to do well. And I didn't think we did that very well, you know, in the first half. You know, I don't think we really had a shot. Um, second half, you know, I think getting the goal as early as we did certainly helped us. And then I thought we were relaxed and I thought we played some good football in the second half. Yep, and uh, as long as it had stayed at 1-0, that's all sort of Hungerford had to do, you know, just to bank back and... and, and you. Yeah, to be fair to Hungerford, I thought you know they, they, they worked hard, they were disciplined, they were trying to stay in shape and make things difficult for ourselves, but we need to break that down and, and um, for all the ball that we had in the first half, I don't think we got into good enough areas, uh, or we did get into good enough areas, but then our final cross, you know, I remember Toby's cross in the first half, he's come through, you know, it, it just evades people. We did some good things, but we need more quality in those final areas to hurt teams. You've got two uh, tough away trips coming up, Concord on Tuesday, Bath City next Saturday. Are you braced for them? I think so. Yeah, I think we're a bit short of numbers at the present moment. You know, we've got a, a few injuries and um, and things like that. But um, yeah, I'm pleased with the squad that I've got. I prefer to have fewer numbers, but people that are committed to the team than having a large number of players that aren't really caring too much about us. So I think that's important. Um, we know that the two away games are going to be difficult, but um, I think it'll be more about our mental strength. That's my concern at the moment. I think uh, footballing-wise, we're good. I think we've shown that this season that we can't we can play some really good football, but you need to defend, um, and that needs a collective you know a collective effort from the team. Um, and also, I do need to bring in some people to help the lads that we've got at the moment to help them get through this difficult stage as well. But overall, three points, pleased with the win, and um, let's move on for next week. Jamie, thanks very much. My pleasure.